Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman. And strangely enough, today's content warning contains spoilers. If you wish to avoid this, skip ahead 10 seconds. Today's document contains mentions of body horror, so if you can stomach that, let's begin. Item number, SCP-5798, Level 2 Restricted, Containment Class, Safe, Disruption Class, Dark, Risk Class, Notice, Assigned Site, 103, Site Director, O. Michael Saint, Research Head, S. Haddo, Assigned Task Force, Not Applicable, Special Containment Procedures. The building containing SCP-5798 has been purchased by the Foundation and shuttered from public access. Two Foundation Guard personnel are to be stationed on site for the purposes of deterring trespassing. Description. SCP-5798 is an entity of indeterminate length residing in the plumbing system of a YMCA building in Florida. Subterranean imaging techniques have revealed that SCP-5798's length takes up the entirety of the building's plumbing system. The entity's physical appearance is that of a mass of flesh, terminating in several tentacle-like appendages. SCP-5798's epidermal coloration is entirely transparent, and as a result, veins, muscle tissue, and small blonde hairs have been observed as part of the entity. SCP-5798 is mostly dormant, and has only been observed to surface for brief periods of time through a small drainage gate located in the shower of a men's locker room, fitting its appendages through the slots on the grate. The entity is capable of extending up to 1.2 meters from the drain. SCP-5798 is sapient, and is capable of communicating coherently in English. See Addendum 5798-1. Addendum 5798-1, Incident Log. Initial research of SCP-5798 was conducted by junior researcher Haddo. While tuning subterranean radar equipment inside the locker room, the following events occurred, a log of which has been transcribed from surveillance footage and can be found below. Begin log. Researcher Haddo sits in front of the shower, taking notes. A voice is heard, coming from the drain. Hey! Huh? Haddo looks up from his notes and turns his head. I'm over here, bud. Down the drain. Oh. That's it? Oh? You talk to someone like me often? I just wasn't aware you could speak. Believe it or not, you're normal compared to some of the things I converse with over the past week. Seriously? You work at a 7-Eleven or something? Practically. Oh, I guess they'll want me to ask you questions. Let's see, uh, you have a name? Don't think so. What are you? Don't care. Haddo gestures. Huh. How'd you get into, uh, your situation? Don't know. God! <sighs> Sorry, I'm just... I can't give answers like that. They want information. Shit, well, I'm really sorry, man. I genuinely can't answer those questions. Who's they? My bosses. Look, even if you have to make something up, I won't know. I just need research credits. Please. Haddo brings his left hand to his temple and begins massaging it. I wasn't trying to be rude or anything. I just don't think about those things, you know? I apologize. It's... it's fine. I'm fine. You sure about that, man? I promise. You can talk to me about it. What? I mean, Christ, I'm talking to a fucking drain monster. This is ridiculous. There's no need to be prejudiced. I can speak and think just as well as you can. I'm willing to lend an ear, if you think it would help. Just pretend I'm not here and speak your mind. No filter. You sure? I mean, I'd sound unhinged. I'm already talking to a drain- A drain creature, I know. Just give it a shot, dude. I won't judge. Uh, fine. No. God, no. I'm not alright. I just- This is how the healing happens. I'm overworked. I'm exhausted. I'm lonely. 
I'm still hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. And you'd think a trillion dollar organization would take care of that, but they don't. I do pointless research all day in hopes of maybe, maybe getting a paid vacation one year. And a complimentary plaque in the site break room or some shit. Sure, if I'm lucky enough to be so useless to the foundation that they actually let me go, I'll be able to retire at 60, where I can own a nice little compensation house for me to fuck off and die in peace. That's if I don't lose my life talking to a fucking drain snake or end up in a wheelchair because I looked at a book the wrong way on a Tuesday or some other contrived bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Haddo groans and begins sobbing into his hands. Let it all out, bud. Let it all out. I'm listening. Girls don't like me. Guys don't like me. Hell, at this point, my fucking hand doesn't like me either. I just... I just... I have so much work to do all the time, and I'm shit at time management, and I have to ask for a deadline extension, and, and it never ends. I haven't slept more than four hours in years. Years! Haddo continues crying. Jeez, I, uh, that's awful, dude. I never realized you guys up there had it so bad. Only if you're poor. I don't mean to make you jealous, but I never had to deal with anything like that. What would you know about anything? You're a fucking drain snake. Hey, I'm pretty cultured. Like, I got it all down here. I can sleep as much as I want, watch movies all day. God, wait, really? Totally, dude. Movies, TV shows, games, YouTube, whatever. Well, now I'm interested. How do you do all that? No clue. I just think about it really hard and it happens. I've always been able to do it. I basically spend all my free time online. So you, you have internet, you sleep as much as you want, and you... Well, what else do you do? How do you occupy yourself all day? Like I said, podcasts, message boards, Warcraft... Speaking of which, I do have a ring coming up in 20, so I may have to step away for a bit if that's good with you. Isn't that a paid game? Bitcoin. You ever try crypto, dude? It's the future, I'm telling ya. <laughs> Man, it sounds great down there. Life's just better. You'd probably enjoy it. And I take it you're not much of a socialite anyways. But the only downside about living down here is that it gets a little lonely. Can't you just talk to people online? Yeah, but it's not the same. Why do you think I started talking to you? Good point. Been getting into writing recently. Helps with the introspection. You write? Whenever I want, for as long as I want. That's all I've ever wanted to do. Down here, you'd be able to write all day. You're so right. I uh, want to be a romance author, but I'm too scared to actually go through with it. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's the spirit. I'm telling you, come down here, dude. I promise you'd love it. I get a friend, you get the life you want to live, it'd all work out. Come down there? Yeah, I can bring you down here. Wouldn't that be neat? I mean, I couldn't. Your call, suit yourself. Something's telling me you're gonna regret it if you stay. You know what? You're right. Fuck this. Haddo throws his notebook and pen down. He pushes over a stack of imaging equipment. Fuck you, Foundation. I'm living my own life. Fuck yeah, you are. I mean, uh, I don't want to pressure you or anything. As soon as you step into the shower, I'm going to pull you down here, just so you know. Haddo leaps into the shower. I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm finally free! SCP-5798 emerges from the grate, extending upwards and tracing its appendages on its surroundings. The entity lunges forward, wraps its appendages around Haddo's right ankle, and pulls him towards the drain. Haddo gleefully shouts, Yeah! It uses another appendage to bring Haddo's left ankle closer to the grate, and pulls with enough force to begin pushing the bottoms of Haddo's feet through the holes of the drain. Ah! Haddo screams, ah! and the sound of skin ripping is audible through the locker room. By anomalous means, the entity manages to pull both of Haddo's feet through the grate. Ah! Blood and excess tissue fills the shower floor. SCP-5798 pulls Haddo's ankles, contorting the bone to slip through the holes. Audible grinding of the cartilage is heard, and cracking sounds are intermediated with Haddo's increasingly distressed vocalizations. Haddo passes out and regurgitates a mixture of blood and stomach contents. A loud crunching noise is heard as SCP-5798 snaps the tibia and fibula of researcher Haddo's lower legs. 
several more appendages emerge from the grate to retrieve excess skin. Haddo seizes and continues to vomit. In his thrashing, he has broken several teeth, and his nose appears to be displaced. Haddo appears to regain consciousness, and vocalizes unintelligibly. As the entity attempts to squeeze Haddo's crotch through the grate, another snapping sound, assumed to be Haddo's pelvic bone, is heard. Haddo goes limp as SCP-5798 squeezes his torso and stomach through the grate. A slurry of entrails and viscera is expelled from Haddo's mouth, which increases in concentration as more of his body is forced through the drain. Haddo's ribcage snaps, and his upper torso sinks into the floor. The last of Haddo's body, the head, is pulled through the drain. Excess brain matter, hair, ocular muscles, and teeth surround the immediate area of the grate. The slurry of body fluids and entrails stains the shower. End log. Upon further interaction with SCP-5798, the entity used Researcher Haddo's voice to communicate. No relevant or new information has been gained from this research, and the entity claims to have no recollection of Researcher Haddo.